Hi guys, it's Lily from Ride to Fly, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite horse books and games. So this video is, all these books that I'm going to be showing you are for sale, and if you want them, you can comment down below. And so let's get started. So my top horse books for, well, six to like seven and older, I suppose, are the Thoroughbred series. These are my absolute favorite books, and my mom just ordered me the whole entire series. And these are like the best books. Even if you're not into racing, these are still really good books, and eventually you get to understand them. They're long, they're thicker, and the chapters are pretty long, and the print is pretty small, but these are really good books. Um, I have these two, Cindy's Glory and Wonders Promise, and I have the whole entire series upstairs in my room on my bookshelf but if you want these contact me and comment and ask me which ones you like and i'll send them to you um my next favorite horse books are the saturday lane stable books these are the best books on earth these i would recommend like third grade to um maybe like fifth it all depends on your reading level, really. I'm a really good reader, so, like, reading isn't hard for me. My first book that I have is A Horse in Danger. This is a really good one. The Dream Pony, um, Ride by Moonlight, and The Perfect Pony. These are really good books. If you want them, please contact me, because I don't want to give these up, but I like them. And my third book series that I really love are the Short Stirrup Club. These ones are for a little bit younger kids, so like third grade and fourth, um, but they're good. And my favorite is Ghost Fistler Ridge, but it's really scary, so I don't read it at night because I would definitely get nightmares about that book. But um, I have Winner's Circle and Blue Ribbon Friends. So if you want them, please comment. My fourth or my last series of books. That I like are the Pony Pals. I have a lot of these and they're super hard to find because they're really old books. But they're really good books. They're they're really short, but um I am seventh graders so like why on earth is she wearing using these books? I just use these because I like them. Um if you these are probably for more like second to third graders, maybe fourth. If you're not the greatest reader, but these are really good books, and I really enjoy them. And there's a lot of friendship lessons in here, too. I have uh, The Blind Pony, and this one doesn't have the cover on it because I lost it, but I think it's called um, A Pony in Trouble. And then I have um, Ponies from the Past. This is a really good book. So... And now I'm going to show you some random books that I have, but they're still really good. The Wild Horse Summer by Hope Ryden. Um, it's in the Pony series. I absolutely love this book. It's for a little bit older kids, so like 10 and up. Um, and I really love this book. Um, it's hardcover, so that's really nice, so it doesn't fall apart. Because a lot of my other books are paperback, and they just fall apart. Um... Second book is Wild Girl by Patri Patricia Riley Giff. This is a really good book. I read this in third grade, but it was really confusing to me then. So I would definitely suggest sixth grade and up because it's changed from one setting to another. So like, um, so it's a girl named Liddy from Brazil, and then it like all of a sudden skips to. Aiken, South Carolina, like, about a Philly, so it's kind of confusing, but if you're sixth grade and above, I think it would be easier for you to read. This is about racing, but even if you are not equestrian, this is a good book for you. Um, this book, it does come in series, but I don't have the whole series, Heartland, um, by Lauren Brooke. This is, these are great books. I love these books. Um, I just can't, I can't find any of the books in the library. Um, a lot of other libraries have them, but I cannot find any books. 
any more of these. I can only find the special edition. These are great books. They do have the whole series, and I'm positive if you look hard enough, you could find them. Um, last but not least, definitely not least, is Riding the Wind by Barbara Garland Popola. I love this book. That I did a book report on this, and my teacher absolutely loved this. Um, this is just a really great book. Um, and if you're into jumping, this is a book for you. Um, it is really old, so it's kind of falling apart a little bit, but not as bad as the other ones. So if you want this, comment down below. Um, now on to my educational books and games. My first choice, if you're just starting out with horses, is the Kingfisher Horse and Pony Encyclopedia. This thing is really big, but this is very educational. And so if you're just starting out with a pony and really don't know where to go, this is book for you. Um, the second educational book is The Western Horseman Natural Horsemanship by Pat Perelli. This is a natural horsemanship book, and my horse was trained off of this. I will mention her below. Her name is Annie. But this is a really good book. Um, whenever I have problems with her, I just look in this book for some um, tips. And this has lots of um, groundwork ex exercises and starting. This is kind of like how to start out a cold or fill in your horse. Um, and my last two things are the original book of horsey if you love to bake but love horses this is the book you want i am not selling this one because i love this book but you can find it um in libraries i've rented it from my library and then someone sent me a whole box of horse books and this was in it it was withdrawn from the library you can see um but this is a really good book and has so many horse treats in horse treat recipes in it i could seriously buy there are so many of them um my horse would probably get sick um i've made a lot of these so i know the recipes are good um and in the back there are also like some uh tips and recipes like fly spray and liniment and natural remedies and stuff like that so this is a good book um, and my last but definitely not least is my favorite game this is a newer book or this is a newer game and this is the junior edition but you can get the normal one and this is a really short game but that's what i like about it because all the other horse games which are really hard to find like horseopoly or rodeoopoly take like three weeks my family plays those every once in a while and seriously we have to take a picture of it every time we finish so this is a really good game it's a little confusing so i definitely recommend the older ages and it is easier to play with like one or two people not one two or three people four people it's pretty overwhelming because i have three other siblings so it's kind of hard to play with four people um so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this and as you can see i did get my hair cut if you're wondering like, what on earth is wrong with her hair i didn't get my hair cut um but i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys found this very helpful if you want any of these books please comment and ask me what books you want and you can send me a check in the mail or um if you live close to me you can come and pick them up and i can ship them to you so i hope you guys found this helpful bye guys